Hello, it's Sarah. My art dolls are all done, you guys. I'm going to post this video before the final video of the tutorial because I wanted to share a few things that I didn't do as best I could. The first thing being, when you make the halo, have it stick up a little bit. It just kind of, okay, that one was bent. But see how there's a little bit of the back post of the halo? It's not right over the top of her head. I mean, you can make it as tall as you want, but the halo is supposed to be glowing from above. And when I did these, I didn't do that. And I, I don't really, I mean, they look fine, but I'll show you the difference. So see, this just comes right out of the top of her head. So I ended up tipping it up because I wanted to fit this bow, which I think looks adorable. So just FYI, I didn't do that in the video until afterward I realized that I hadn't made that extra room. Um, I also was going to use black marker to kind of mark where you can see the gap of the hair. You can't really see it. Um, what else did I want to tell you? The other thing I did not do in the video is to add this top um, link or the top screw to the top of the head. So what I wanted to share with you about that, so this one I did the same thing. I didn't extend it up as high as I did on the other ones, you know. I gave both these guys a different hairdo. Um, I gave them a little bit longer hair. Um, so let me show you what I used. I ended up using, because I had them in my stash, you could do the same thing you did with the arms and legs with just an eye pin and do it the same way. Just put a little hole in the top of the head and glue it in that way. But I had these tiny little screw eyes, they call, they're called, and they're Tim Holtz. And all I did was take my needle nose, or any plier, any plier. You put your hole in the top of the wood and let me do it on, I have one here that I could do. But the thing is, I, you don't do it until after you put the hair on, um, the, uh, what is it called? Felt, the felt on the, ha on the hair. So you would just take this eye, it's like an eye screw. It has threads on it, it's, and it's small. I have these in two sizes, but this is the small. Let me see if I have the bigger ones. Oh, and I also bought these from, these are from the wood pile. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. Same size, they're in silver. So, um, but these were the bigger ones. I think I used these on my, yeah, look. The, on the original Angels, I used this, the bigger size. So whatever you have that can, pick, that can make a loop, like say you use the eye pin, the very small one, just put a jump ring on it so it's big enough for you to just thread. I mean, you could use twine, you could use rope, you could use whatever you want. Um, that's basically it. Uh, and I mess up, like the video, I, I can't refilm it because I already did everything, but I had waited so long to make it, I just really wanted to get it out there for you. But I really love how they turned out. What else was I going to say? Yeah, like I don't add the bows in the video, so just do whatever you want. Like put, I was thinking of putting a little flower in her hair, but then I ended up putting a bow. Then when I glued the wings on, I just... These wings I got at Joann's, and I'm pretty sure they still have them. Last time I was there, they had them on the button wall. Um, and then I just put a little piece of lace on top and a bling. Um, and I could even put something down here to just finish it off, but it's not really necessary. Um, and that's it. But I didn't show that on the video. I put a little charm on her. One, Each girl has a charm. I put love on this one because she's got like hearts. And she was intended to be valentines -y. So I put a, a love on her, and I put a create on her with the music notes. I just think it's cute. Now, I'm debating, and let me see what I put on the back. I just put a piece of, oh, and I didn't, oh, it's, oh, good. It didn't stick. So that was actually, that's so funny because I glued it. But because this is shiny, it probably didn't take. So I'll just end up gluing something else 
Um, I liked it because it was black, but the back doesn't really look black. Like I could put just this, like this would be fine. You know, I don't have to get, get crazy. I think I might just put this on here. I have so many different bits and bobs. This project was really fun, and I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner, but I've just been busy. Like, look at that. I think I'm just going to push that on there. That's gorge. And that's a, a sticker, so it's kind of stuck. I love it. It's problem solved, right? Um, so... She's not going to lay down flat, but that's okay. I put this bow on her hair. Um, she has like just a part in the middle and it goes down, but I just thought those polka dots really played with this polka dots. I just think it looks adorable. So don't forget to accessorize in any way you want. You can put charms. I think that's basically it, but I did want to just mention it. And then just use, like I said, either an eye pin, an eye screw. There's lots of stuff out there you could do. Um, I just made a little hole and then screwed it in with my um, holding it with pliers. And that's it. And don't forget to raise up your halo. Just raise it up a little. It'll look better. I'm going to make a couple more, but I, and I, maybe I'll share them um, in a different video. Let me, I'm going to, I see something. I cut her hair over here a little shorter. I like it. I like them. Um, I think they're adorable. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so sorry it took so long, but now, coming up next, I will play the video where I put their hair on, I put the halo on, and then we attach their necks. Okay? I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.